In 2004, ESPN named the Chicago Blackhawks the worst franchise in all of sports. Chicago had the worst attendance in the NHL. The people had lost faith in their team. Things did not look good for the franchise. Sadly, before the 2008 season, longtime Chicago Blackhawks owner Bill Wirtz passed away. Following his father's passing, Rocky Wirtz inherited a legacy. Under Rocky's guidance, the franchise pulled a complete U-turn in every aspect. Players changed, coaching changed, even the building changed. The fans responded to the new Hawks with overwhelming support. For the 2009 season, the Hawks set the highest attendance record in NHL history. Fans were awarded their first conference final in 12 years. The Hawks were back. I think it was important to realize, you know, what where the Hawks had been or had not been. And that's not a negative, it's just saying that we had lost two to three generations of fans and had to reconnect with the fans. We had to be relevant. They didn't even know who we were. They didn't know anything about us. They hadn't discovered us. And so what you want to do is reach out for those 20 to 30 something fan that had never thought about going to a hot game, viewing a hot game, listening to a hot game, reading in the internet, doing anything with the Hawks. And that's what we started to do. And to do that, you have to talk to your customers. And so as people started coming, it was important to go out and to, to be in a position and not be in a skybox, not to be isolated, talk to your customers. And those have to be our fans. Because once you start putting yourself first is when you have a problem. And it's not allowing yourself to have short-term thinking. You have to have long-term thinking. You have to say, where you, where's this franchise going to be in 10 years from now? Where's it going to be in 20 years from now? What can we do to build this organization up to be you know, a premier organization so it doesn't have to be the best in hockey or the best in Chicago? It should be, as, it should be the best in the country of any sport. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. You want to hold it like this. It's all about stick handling. Paint with a long, smooth motion. Keep your elbows loose. Let the brush know who's boss. Concentrate, concentrate. There it is. Nice. It's never enough. Every day you have to promote because you have to go out there and you, have, you can't assume that everyone knows and someone's gonna might accuse us of too much time in marketing. That fine line is you always got to go out you always have to do that you always have to promote in tough times is when innovation really kicks in and how can you be innovative how can you reach out all the social media groups in ways to communicate that we're not there you know just a couple of years ago things are moving so quickly that you have to listen to you know what what fans are message board and so really you want to approach your fans someone that doesn't read a newspaper doesn't listen to the radio or not listen to am fm radio and if you approach it that way, you constantly find different innovative ways to connect with those fans. 46% of our seats are in the 300 level. Now we tended to do too much for the main level. And we're on our 16th year and it was time to, to put something back into that. We cheat trying to reinvent areas of the United Center. And now it was time to do that. We rebranded it called Madhouse on Madison Street, which is from the old Chicago Stadium. And so we put TVs and put bars up and we have two uh, bars in the seating rotunda now, but again, it's it's something that's important to give the, the best fan experience you can. It doesn't matter if you're in the last seat at the 300 level, if you're on the glass or on the floor for basketball. I think that the mistakes that we had made in the past is not listening to the fans. I don't think that we as an organization had stated their implicit goal and that's to win the Stanley Cup. You know, we talked about it, but it's like telling someone you love them. You don't say it enough. And it's important that you really, you know, get it out there and that everyone signs on to that mission. And you can't win a championship unless everyone's working together in the same direction. When people go through the turnstiles, you want them to have a good time. I think another thing we did is we forgot that you know we're here to entertain these folks. I mean, sports is a form of entertainment. We have that obligation to, to our fans to have a good time. Every moment that they're in our building, they should be enjoying themselves. And we should make it fun to be there. 
because there's a lot of different ways I think that the younger generation is moving is they have thousands of different areas they could be spending their two to three hours of time on and you think of what it takes to get there and the time you're there and the time you go home you could be doing many other things but besides you know bringing money into the Blackhawks and and to the United Centers. The exciting thing is is you know we've been able to fill the building up and that's that's important but the important thing is we haven't won anything yet and, and we're gonna do that and we're gonna find a way to win that Stanley Cup.